everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. And welcome to another Makers with Heart video hop. This month, the Makers with Heart are doing our favorite products. So each of us are choosing what uh, our favorite products are and featuring them in a project. It's so hard to choose, but I would have to say that my favorite product that I turn to all the time are the TriBlend markers. Okay, so they come in two uh, selections of, you can get them in singles or you can get them in bundles and you have two different bundle choices. And each marker has three shades within each color. So you get a light, medium, and dark. So it makes it easy to do shading and contouring within that color. And you don't have to pick like different colors to get it right. And so I'm not that great at coloring, but this makes it look pretty awesome. Okay, the stamp set that I've chosen to do my projects with is Backyard Bliss Card Making. So this stamp set comes with a branch and a swing image and then also um, rolling hills. So I'm going to do two different cards. So I've loaded the branch and swing uh, stamp into my Misty. And uh, the best way to use these markers are either with the Memento Black Tuxedo Black ink or with the Close to My Heart Intense Black ink. I tend to favor the Memento just because it tends to not stain my stamps as, as much as the Intense Black, but they both work perfectly and your stamps are still fine to use um, even if they're stained. So whichever your choice is. Okay, so we'll get that image stamped down in black and cleaned up and make sure that your uh, ink is completely dry before you start to color and then place a piece of scratch paper underneath your cardstock. It tends to um, assist the color in, in absorbing into your cardstock and blending on your paper better when you have some scratch paper underneath it. Okay, so I'm just pulling a variety of colors, so some browns and uh, purples and uh, some greens. And then uh, before I start coloring, I'm going to stamp this little bird sitting on the branch. So I'm going to pull a blue as well. So the basic procedure for coloring with tri-blends is start with your lightest and just lay down some color and just go in uh, lines and just kind of fill in and then go to your darkest. And uh, for shading and blending, um, just kind of decide where your light source is gonna be coming from. So I decided that uh, the light would be coming from the right side. So I'm doing some uh, dark blending along the left side of that tree trunk. And then go in with your medium and kind of uh, go over that black, or not black, but the darkest color, and then go back to your lightest. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up super fast. I'm keeping all the coloring in this video, but it's kind of boring to watch someone color, so I'm gonna speed it up super fast um, to move on through it. But then you can just see kind of how I'm going back and forth between the marker colors, between the light, medium, and dark. Okay, so there's my tree trunk, and I've got some shading where the knots in the trunk are and made those darker. And then I'll continue on with coloring the leaves in greens. And they're small, so I'm going in with the darkest color and kind of um, picking and choosing a few different leaves to make darker. And then I'll finish out the rest of that branch with the browns. And then we'll continue on with the leaves. So I'm just gonna lay down color in the lightest, and then I'll go in and pick like every other leaf and color it in with the darkest. I'm not doing any shading just because the images are so tiny. I get a lot of color in them. <laughs> so then I'll do the flowers and the swing, and I'll color my little bird in blue. Pretty easy. Okay, so there that image is all finished. And now I'm going to fill in with some stamping. Okay, so I've got avocado and the stamp looks like grass. And then I'm going to stamp a second time in New England Ivy and kind of stagger it. 
to kind of fill it in there. Okay. Then I will stamp my sentiment in black and it says, hello, friend. And then another thing you can do with your markers is kind of create a color base for your sentiment. So I'm just going to color over it with two of the colors of blue to bring more attention to my sentiment and kind of create a wash. Okay, now pretty simple uh, card design. I'm just going to build on my card base, it's an A2 card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. So my uh, paper from Backyard Bliss, it looks like grass and it's just a little bit smaller than my card front. And then I'll mat my uh, colored stamp design in pine. And then I'm going to pop the whole panel with some craft foam. We'll get that down. And then finishing touch is a little gold shimmer trim. I want to keep the attention on the colored image. So I'll keep it simple. And there's my finished card. Okay. Next card, I'm going to use this Rolling Hills design, and I have a piece of shortbread. This is the light side of shortbread, and it's cut at three inches square, loaded into my Misty, and I'll stamp that out in black ink, and then we can color that in. These markers are really easy to use, and they last a long time. This set that I've got here, uh, I've had for two years uh, since we first came out with them. And um, most of them are still pretty juicy. I'm going to need to replace a couple of my most used colors, like a yellow and a green, pretty soon. But um, I'm just amazed at how long they last because I use these a lot. So they're uh, a good value for, for your money. So again, I'm just going in with some greens. I've got two different green markers. And I'm starting with the lightest and then building it up with darker colors easiest to go from a lighter color to a darker color and a little trickier to take away a dark color. There is the colorless blender which will take away color but um, you need to be careful with that so that you don't oversaturate your cardstock. So the easiest way to, is to start with light and then uh, go into dark. All right my next favorite product are the Close My Heart ink pads. These are the stamp pads and it's the water-based color and you can do a million different techniques not just stamping with uh, these ink pads. So I'm going to demonstrate some uh, color blending. So I have a blending brush and a glacier ink pad and I'm just going to add some blue sky above uh, the rolling hills on my image. Okay, now I have a piece of white daisy cardstock and I have wisteria and grape and some larger blending brushes and I'm going to create a background. So it's going to look like a sponge uh, uh, color blended background. Um, it's not going to be completely smooth, um, but that's not the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to lay down uh, wisteria and then on the lower side end of uh, this uh, piece of cardstock, I'm adding some grape. Okay, so that's my background, and now we can start building our card. Okay, I'm going to stamp out my sentiment, which says thinking of you in grape ink on this uh, piece of shortbread. And then off camera, I will trim it down and dovetail each end to create a little banner. And then I'm going to doodle around the edges in a purple gel pen just to bring a little more attention to that little banner. Okay. And then I'll add that uh, grape and wisteria ink, inked up panel to the front of my card. And then I will mat my stamped image in pine. And I'll add that with some craft foam and pop it. And then my sentiment I'll add with some uh, tape runner. OK, 
keeping it pretty simple. Again, I want the attention to be drawn to the colored image. And for the last touch, I'm going to use these embellishments from Backyard Bliss. This, uh, it's a heavyweight cardstock. It's almost like chipboard, um, but it's pretty thin. Um, this looks like a picket fence and it has a, a wood grain on this uh, chipboard. And I'll add that with some glue dots to finish it off. So be sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video and you'll be able to see all of the other Makers with Heart videos and uh, what their favorite products are. I'm curious to know what they've chosen, so I'm excited to see their videos. So I will make a list of all the supplies that I used with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And thanks for watching.